I don't, I don't do the splitter, I probably should. Yeah, I think the, the yeah. real meta is the in-ear uh, monitors with your like uh, sound canceling headphones over. Yeah, and we're exactly just getting straight into it. Yeah. Ooh, the laser into the forward smash there. Yeah, you just gotta hold that, you don't even gotta do anything. 43%. <laughs> yeah, that's a wake up for Spark right there. Yeah. Right out of the bathroom, straight into a stock deficit in game one. Yeah. You leave the bathroom, you double jump to ledge once. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, got it. This this is how we're doing it today, I guess. <laughs> oh, Ooh, yeah, the the DI and like the uh, the approach defensively for Spark's been really interesting off ledge. He's just been going down. Mm -hmm. and, and it was fine there for the recovery, but that's like a dangerous spot to be below Falco. Hey, man, I wonder if he's just trying to make sure he's not taking any like extra like percent, but it, it, like, oh, I just can grab ledge quick. But if he doesn't, he's straight up dead. Yeah, there's also the option where like Spark is someone who is a very much a croucher, uh, likes to take advantage of ASDI down. Yep. So it could be issues where he's literally just buffering down inputs and then just falls like Mango just yep. did right there. Good mind control Didn't there from Spark. Different reasons, but definitely a little bit of an unforced error, okay? Yep. Rolls it on up. We're still at a stock lead, though. Yeah, I think it really is going to be important for Spark here to just take advantage of the opportunities to edge guard. He got one earlier uh, with the back throw and was just going for the read on Mango's recovery. Ended up doing high side B, gets on stage almost every time to his Falco. But if you just now start stuffing it out with the bear, that'll be interesting to see. Ah, no pillar there with the extension. Still isn't, <laughs> Spark still isn't landed, though. Oh, there the weight! I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, movement's looking good for Mango. You ain't gonna get that twice, but you can cover it right again with that back air. Yeah, Mango's just moving. It's not even like ultra fast. It's just clean right yeah, I now. mean, I think it was almost slow. Like the patience there, you would almost expect Mango to always go for the instant pillar uh, continuation of the combo there. Actually just waited and got the punish off the top. Yeah. I, I'm a huge fan of like momentum shift kind of stuff. If like, if you've been playing at 10, like swing it Ooh. back down to seven, just like once before turning it back on, it'll throw someone off so hard. Oh yeah, uh, I don't, uh, oh, oh, oh You no. don't want to see that. Yeah, Man. Spark's shaking his head there. Spark's got a, he's going to be able to get back into it. I think, <laughs> I, I, sorry, I'm just looking at the, the Sparks player cam, if we can cut to that, just the cord sticking out of his head. Oh, it's, it's <laughs> just tapped in. There's you got the neural link. No slack on that cord at all. <laughs> he's he's leaning forward. Not it's not the gamer lean of like I'm super focused. It's that my head being cannot forced. go further back. That might be the new meta. You, you force yourself to be in upwards posture by just wiring in. Spark isn't able to get the, the you know continuation of the tech chase there. And now you really are thinking like is, is Spark just cold right now? Like it kind of feels like it. I, I and again, Mango is warm. Like, Mango's yeah. playing good. It's not something where, like, Mango's at his base oh, level. Oh, yeah. It's a combo of both. I, I think knowing Spark, he'll be able to get himself back into this. I'm just worried that it might be a little too late. Yeah. So and I think the options he's going for aren't, like, something that gets you more warm. He's almost going for, like, chump stuff, where he finishes the tech chase early to go for the F throw for oh, the read sure. with the Nair off stage, where if it, if it does hit, if all three of those things go well, you will get the stock. That's but as we saw what happened, it didn't, and Mango was yeah. able to reversal. That's kind of the, like, the, I, I got to get through my pools, I got to do whatever, or the I've got a good read on this. Yeah. Ooh, that second downer to white thing. Yeah, the idea is good. It just yeah. needs, like, similar to, like, Moki's approach on HBox with uh, reading the rolls there. You're, like, just, just a couple frames off. off. Yeah. Oh. That scared me. That scared yeah. me. I think that was just like a mango was waiting to see what are you going to do here? Like, what is the recovery option? You're kind of in a weird spot, caught out. Very strange trade there, but Spark is happy to take that. Oh, no! You have to no. get those, Spark. Same option again! Okay, that time I was, I thought that he was not going to be able to play it far enough. I also would have done it. <laughs> was able to finish it out with like the third Nair finally. Yeah. But now being in the corner against Mango is not a good thing to do. I'd say he luckily does not find himself off stage, but... Yeah, good enough DI to not get double doinked off. We do love the double doink there. All right. Like this this feels like Spark trying to claw his way back into this. Mm -hmm. it, I'm starting to see the, the like lifeblood moving around, but... Yeah, yeah, still holding center stage, though, even though he's down a yeah. stock. Ooh, he's sharking pretty well. The problem is it, it also feels like Mango is playing at a, like, I'm not going to super overextend. I'm not going to do the fastest shield pressure, just, like, solid, safe shield pressure. And if, if Spark, or Mango's also willing to turn it up, then Spark's got to keep 
you know, I, you got to match the level I'm playing at here. Yeah, I think Mango's just slowing it down, playing just fundamental play. But I think he kind of knows what Spark's going for a lot of the time. We saw that option at ledge, where Spark was basically covering every option except land on platform and then go off all the way to the left with that down smash below. Like, perfect spacing there. Yeah. You said Mango's kind of just more like slower fundamental play, but like we've seen those moments of like, oh, you, you, it's not that you can't play faster, you're just choosing not to. Right no, there's now. like one dash dance that'll like turn it up basically. Yeah, and it's like, ooh, the threat is there. Ooh, the dare there is interesting. Really good DI from Sparks. It's just get out of there. Yep. He's just not trying to make himself too tired before we get to top eight. <laughs> Double stanky leg there. Works good for the knockback at this percent. Ooh. Okay. A little but bit of a late move. Winner. Yeah. Yeah, this is, I mean, we're about to hit a four minute game where I just feel like this has been what it is. <laughs> Two yeah. sock to one sock has been what it is the entire time. It's a spark versus a brick wall right now. Yeah, and the and call outs from Ledge. Yeah, exactly. That's like the third or fourth time this set so far. Third or fourth time other than the, oh, he was definitely holding a little bit out. Yeah, homie can't even switch to Zelda in time either yeah. because of the laser. That was rough. That was and like we said, it's not even that Mango is like playing out of his mind. That no. was just a, I know what you're going for. I don't want to overcomplicate this. Let's just edge guard you again. All right, cool. We're on to game three. Yeah, and just back to Battlefield. I mean, I don't think any of this is stage dependent. Okay, what do you do here? This is the opportunity you got to get. You got the read on the first one. Wasn't able to get the second one, but now to reset. Okay. Ah, and Mango didn't get it out quick enough. And that's what you need if you're a Spark fan. Yeah, that is first, what you need. First Spark League we've seen didn't, also didn't take any percent up until right there. And now what do you do? You play the platform. You're forc forcing Mango to engage on you for the first time, really. Now Mango's kind of picking up the pace. Yeah, because Mango's like, oh, shoot. I, I don't have the lead. I got to do it now. I, I can't rely on you approaching poorly. Nope. Ooh, it doesn't even go for the double. I like that there. Because I think Spark was expecting it. You have the coverage. Do, do the again? three. Yeah. Ooh. And that's a that player read right there. You know Spark is going to OMS attack that every single time. So it's just, what do you do? Even if you don't, like, theoretically, you should just always expect the OMS attack, no matter who you're playing. So you're like, all right, I'm ready. But, like, I'm, I'll be real. I'm not covering that OMS attack round one pools. No. The, the up air read from Spark was insane, but just wasn't able to connect either of the two fairs that, that came afterwards. Was fast. Getting caught in bad DI again. Yep. Mango's just turning up the tempo and is catching Spark unawares multiple yep. times so far. It's those slow momentum changes of like, you think oh, this is gonna be a longer combo? I'm just letting it rip. And then the one time he didn't is when he's like, all right, we're dancing around the, the stage. movement! Circle. Waveland off, almost connected, was able to pick it up right after. There was something that Mango did that was really interesting, where yeah. he went really aggressive in on the shield pressure. Spark's able to clean it up and even it out. Yeah. Where I was worried he got we were gonna get a third unanswered from Mango, so Spark's he, still in this. Yeah, he got Spark's shield down to like a little skittle and then backed off. Because I yes. and because the first thing uh, Spark did was just hold down. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna try to go in on me, trying to do some more shield pressure. I'm just gonna do a reversal. No, I'm gonna wait. Yeah. Because everyone, your shield gets that small, you're panicking. Another one. Okay. Hold. There we go. Very good from Spark. Is using what happened in game one and game two to his advantage in game three here yeah. with the edge guard game. Spark just needs to get one on the board to kind of get his mind back into this. It feels like he's, oh no, that could be. What do you got here? Yeah, this Sheik is stuck for so long in the roof. Overextended once and now we're back to even. And this is where a lot of the pressure is being put on Spark now. You had the lead for a majority of this game, but you are on your winner's side stock. Your life. Oh, wow. I, that only hits through Ooh, the metal one. Like one small spot. Grab no jump, ledge. I think. Yeah. Woo. Yep. All right. We're not shut out. We got the one on the board. Yeah. Now do you go to Yoshi's? You go to Pokemon? I yeah. Go to, yeah. There we go. <laughs> you can't charge a needle on me to shoot yeah. you with a laser. Yeah. I'm, I'm so interested in my like, round start in Melee. I think it's just a, such an interesting topic. Uh, shout out to the Frasier, who's actually commentating on the other yep. scene right now. Made a, a video about round starts in Melee. Uh, it, it, the idea of like what people do while Go is still on the screen. There's certain ports that you can just fall straight down. Well, like, it's like, there's it's, like certain yeah. matchups where Falcon should just go for straight up raw knee. Yes. 
on like on Yoshi's or something, you just yeah. run straight across. Oh, yeah. throws it out there. Ice Doesn't damage like is things they can only do on round start. It only in two boards. Like every character's got some weird stuff, and the fact that like we immediately saw like I'm gonna charge needles, and he's like, no, I'm lasering as fast as I possibly can. And that's like the player read too, because exactly. Spark is the type of player to use yeah. that time to charge needle to get any sort exactly. of advantage he can get. Oh, oh, didn't get it there, but again, I mean, Mango knew this was going to happen if he did hit it. You saw him go down. I think yeah. he just missed the tech part. Yeah. <laughs> he did the hardest part. Ooh, the fair approach there is kind of nasty if he gets the edge nice. cancel. Ah, the, 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 the approach from above with the dare that it goes behind Whoa, wait, the shield. Did slide off the windmill for a sec oh, there? Mango. I need to see. Holy crap, I need to replay <laughs> of that one. Something about the trajectory of that guy looked mad weird. I, I think he hit the... Windmill. Yeah, that could be it. Yeah, Mango had the stock there with the double dip, but I think he wasn't oh expecting. This pressure's so good. Mango was just doing these empty hop like wave lands, Ooh. and every time Spark just backed up and gave Mango the full center stage oh, with no actual threats. It was just like bare wave land, empty hop wave land, and Spark just like, yep, you're right. I'm gonna go to ledge now. <laughs> Cornered himself. And that's what happened a lot in game two and game wow. one when Mango is having these dominant leads. I also like how Mango just went for the perfect percent. I know down tilt kills here. Okay, Spark, you have to get the kill here. Start off with one fair. Down Grab smash. Okay. Hold, no. There's been a couple of those. The bird's going just slightly further than Spark is ready. Yeah, you just have to go out there. I mean, it's Mango. He's going to have the mangle. He just got to throw out the bear. We, we say this like Mango, just his Falco just goes like four pixels further than everybody else. It's in the code. That's it, how it feels though, so like I get it. <laughs> you go like F smash, what are you gonna do? Oh. Certain players just, it feels like their character is just like one frame better in weird ways. I That drift was wild. The drift is crazy, but I think Mango's feeling himself because the safe option there, just go for this uh, dash attack. Because yes. the dash attack will just pop and reset. The dash attack hits over the ledge a little bit more there too. Nice. Good. Yep, yeah, two in a row. Yeah, and now we're back to what feels a lot more like game one and game two scenarios where Spark quite literally and uh, metaphorically is in the corner. Yeah. That being said, I feel like Spark is playing better in like edge guarding and combos now. Like that that aspect of the gameplay is, has gotten back up to speed. Takes but the time for the turnaround, gets the laser. Mango is so good at forcing someone to the corner with just this empty pressure. Like, look at this. It's like, yeah. all right, cool. Now we're back to the corner already. Yeah, just lasers coming out here. Yeah, don't, let anyone, force. don't let anyone fool you. This might not be a traditional fighting game. Corner still is very oh, important. Yeah. Yeah, Mango playing is safe here. Why do I need to go out there? Yeah. You're, you're, that's the only win con you have right here is getting me off stage and trying to get an early kill. Yeah. Ooh, nice boost grab. Yeah, I don't know how like the weird stage stuff impacts reaction tech chasing. Oh, oh no. that was out of it. That's a, we do have a jump. Good nice tech. tech. Good tech. Ooh, the spot dodge works, but we're back into a reset. And Mango closes it out. Phenomenal set for Mango there. It's just option coverage. Yeah, option coverage. It was great spacing. The stage control, and that, especially in that last game, the stage control and all of them were just amazing. 